So I haven't played Murder Mystery 2 in quite a while, and the Halloween update is out. I ran out of Robux earlier, so I decided to buy more, and I have 2,480. I'm ready to buy that Ghost Blade, which is 1,700, and I'm going to get some candies. Oh, I'll buy some candies in order to boost up my tiers. If you get to tier 40, you see those three pink question marks? Well, uh, you get the Elderwood Scythe, if you, but you have to pay 80,000 candies. Uh, it's a gift from the Traveler from 2017 Halloween. So, yeah. Very hard to get. Gotta spend hours. That means 120,000 candies that you have to spend. If you guys are new to this update, it's basically like 2018 Halloween. I don't know if any of you were playing at that time, but, uh... Basically, you gotta complete Mr. Skelly's daily challenges in order to go through tiers. Or you could just pay a thousand candies for each tier. And yeah, it, it could take a very long time. So you need 40,000 candies in order to tier up to, the, to where the question marks are, which is tier 40. And then you have to pay 80,000 more in order to get that ancient knife. So the knife is easy to get, it's just gonna take a really long time. So... I wouldn't know if it I wouldn't say it's easy or hard, it just would take a very long time. So now we're about to buy this ghost blade. 1,700 Robux. I have 860 left. There we go. That looks very cool. It looks like a a chill knife that was destroyed or something. Honestly, that's what it really looks like. I don't know if you guys can agree with me. Uh it has a faded color like for uh for ghosts, I guess. It makes it look like a, a ghost knife, obviously. And yeah, it's in the Halloween section of my inventory, and here it is. And I got the ethereal effect. I don't know how to really pronounce that, but... Or ethereal. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know, but... It looks pretty cool. Ethereal is like clouds, but yeah. So the only way to tear up is by doing the missions and... Or the daily challenges. Oh gosh, that pig in here just killed me. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. So... You have to complete those, or you just have to get candies, and candies will spawn in random areas and maps. And sometimes super candies will spawn, which are the candies that look like they're flamey, and that gives you five extra candies, so it is very cool. You can also exchange diamonds for candies or coins for candies, and uh, you're better off buying candies than exchanging diamonds for candies if you're going to buy diamonds. If you already have diamonds, I suggest you just exchange them now. Or save it for the Christmas update, because I'm sure that'll come soon. But yeah, I just bought 8,000 candies for 800 Robux. I'm going to be saving those to purchase some tiers. But first, I want to do some missions, and then I want to tier up to that tier 40. I don't know if I'm going to be playing enough to get that uh, Elderwood Scythe. It looks very cool. My favorite ancient so far, other than Batwing and Nicewing. It's definitely a very interesting knife. There's also leaderboards, and whoever has the most candies, or are in the top 100 with the most candies, will get a special knife. First, second, and third will get a golden version of a random Halloween godly from back then. Second place will get a silver version, and third will get a bronze version. While fourth to 100th place, I don't exactly know, but... Yeah, I'm excited to see what it is, because I think last Christmas update, I didn't find out until a few days ago that it was uh, gold sugar, silver sugar... And bronze sugar. So, very excited to see what people are going to get in the top 100. I'm definitely not going to be there because those top 100 people either play for hours or they just have enough Robux to purchase a ton, a ton of candies to be on the leaderboard. So yeah, I wouldn't suggest you going on the leaderboard unless you really, really care about this game. But yeah, I'm going to be testing this knife in this video before I give it away. And this is going to be the only knife I'm using because uh, uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on it, and this is a very cool knife, so I'm, I'm sure you guys are going to really like it, and Ghostblade is going to be in very high demand for those who don't have that many godlies, I guess. But yeah, uh, don't comment your usernames on this video. I'll do a giveaway on it maybe uh, mid-November or in the beginning of November, somewhere around there, so yeah. If you do have the Elderwood Scythe, I don't suggest that you give it to me for free, but if you really, really want to, then I guess you can, and I could do a giveaway on that. But I will try my best to get that Elderwood Scythe and do a really big giveaway on it. Because that's probably going to be the weapon that I spent the most time on getting. Even though it's probably not going to be as worth as much as Batwing. 
because Batwing, I think, was a little bit harder to get. I could be wrong. It was 2,500 Robux, so you had to pay for it. While uh, Elderwood Scythe, you don't. So, it depends on how many rich people play Murder Mystery 2. So, I don't know which weapon is going to be worth more by the end. But, Batwing is older, so I'm assuming that it will be worth more than the Elderwood Scythe. Even though the Elderwood Scythe does look a lot better. Batwing still does look good. One thing I'm kind of missing is uh, a map or like maybe a haunted house that they could have added or Nicholas could have added or any of the map builders. I don't exactly know who the map builder is. I think there's two of them, but yeah, that would have been really cool if someone built a haunted house for Halloween 2019 update, but maybe, maybe next update they'll do it. I don't know. I probably should send Nicholas a me message and uh, give him some tips. Because a haunted house would be very cool. Or maybe anything else that has to do with Halloween. Like a witch's hut. Well, that would be too small for a map. But yeah, something. Something interesting. Maybe a, a cemetery. Another cool feature is that if you look up, it's nighttime. And that only happens during Halloween updates. Which uh, I actually did notice uh, last year. You probably only noticed that when you, when you went into the factory map. Because that one's outside or the mill base. Or maybe any other map. And by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, you can go up here, and you could- Oh. Well, thanks for killing me, I wanted to show someone a hiding spot, but you can actually hop on that light and get up top of there, so. Alright, so I'm gonna be switching to assassin mode, because I haven't been getting murder. So I'm, I'm gonna be using the ghost blade here to see how it looks. I'll probably be using a, a bunch of different types of effects, like the knife wrap, which is my second favorite, and then my favorite to dual wield. So, this is it. It doesn't look like there's any effect on it, but there should actually be clouds, like the ethereal effect. You can barely see it, but if you do notice it, then you probably have good eyes, I guess. I know, guys, that I said I don't trade, but I am, I think I'm willing to give my eternal knife. Since I have eternal too, I want to give my regular eternal for an Elderwood Scythe. I don't know if anyone would accept that, but if so, you could just leave it in the comment section and yeah. Just to let you know, if you ever feel doubtful about trading with me or anyone else, I have a value list in the description that you can check out. The Murder Mystery 2 value list basically has the values uh, of every knife in the game, or every godly, which is probably what you want to look for. The currency of all of the godlies in the value list are going to be Sears. Oh, hi there. Oh yes, get sliced by my ghost blade. Man, this knife is actually very fun to use, I can't wait to give it away. Here's how the weapon looks with a knife wrapper effect. That's actually pretty, pretty neat. Uh, not my favorite. I'm gonna try some other ones. We have, uh, pink flaming effect. Snowflakes. Oh wait, this, that looks weird. <laughs> not with snowflakes. Red ornaments. Uh, that also looks kind of odd. I think, yeah, with blue ornaments it's okay. I think it works best for maybe a green flaming or electric knife. Since it's, uh... Ghosty, I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I yeah, it probably looks best with the green flaming knife. But obviously I like keeping it dual wield, so it looks like I have two knives. I don't know why I like that, but I do, so. And I'm going to be playing Murder Mystery a lot, so I can get all of these candies. Try my best to get that Elderwood Scythe, like I said before. I really, really want to give it away, so. Last but not least is one of the most important parts of our purchase, which is the, the beautiful Ghosty Pet. I'm usually not into pets, but I'm definitely going to be giving this away. And, uh, probably not going to be worth much, but definitely a cute pet that some people would definitely want. In my opinion, it's not cuter than the Doge pet, of course, the Attack Doge, but this is probably the second cutest, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really look like it would be a godly pet, but it is, so can't wait to give it away. But anyway, guys, uh, that's, that's all I have for this video. I know it was short, but I just wanted to show you guys the Ghost Blade, and, uh, yeah, I'll be doing a giveaway on that very soon. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, then I would appreciate if you can subscribe and maybe leave a like on the video. Have a great day. If I missed anything, then you can tell me in the comment section. One last thing, guys. Most of you probably know about this, but I am doing a Halloween Godly giveaway. I posted it about a week and a half ago, but I'm giving away three Godly knives from 2016, 2017, and 2018. Plus the Ancient Backwing, if that video can get to 150 likes. If somehow we get to 11,000 subscribers before November 3rd, I'll be giving away the Battle Axe too. But yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day, and peace out. Thank you for watching.